Hello students, welcome back to Bosco Campus Vision. In the last session, we were discussing about the financial analysis of the financial statements. So in this session, we are moving on to the last part of financial analysis, that is ratio analysis. So ratio is a relationship between two figures expressed mathematically. A financial ratio provides the numerical relationship between two relevant financial data. So, two figures in the relationship mathematically express the chain of the ratios. Use so, two financial data relationship identify the chain of the financial ratios. Use and these financial ratios are calculated from the balance sheet and the profit and loss account. And the different ratios measure the different aspects of a company's performance or health. So, only could the ratios on the Oro ratios and company the Oro aspect to Lula performance and health to honor measure the chain. So, the four major group of ratios used for analyzing the performance of a company are liquidity ratio, leverage ratio, profitability ratios that is on the basis of sales, investment, and equity shares, and activity or efficiency ratios. So, all type ratios are liquidity ratio, leverage ratio, profitability ratio and activity or efficiency ratios. So, the first one is liquidity ratio. These measure the company's ability to fulfill its short term obligations and reflect its short term financial strength or liquidity. So, company the short term obligations and needs some financial strength okay, reflect the ratios are liquidity ratios in the and the common liquidity ratios are current ratio and quick ratio. Current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities and quick ratio is equal to current assets minus inventory minus prepaid expense the whole divided by current liabilities. A higher current ratio would enable a company to meet its short term obligations even if the value of the current asset declines. So a high current ratio a company had a good financial position and a short term strength. However, both these ratios are to be used together to analyze the liquidity of a company. Next is leverage ratios. These are also known as capital structure ratios. They measure the company's ability to meet its long-term debt obligations. They throw light on the long-term solvency of a company. So, we have short-term financial strength to measure the short So, that is liquidity ratios. Now, long-term Debt obligations measure the ratios and leverage ratios. And these include debt equity ratio, total debt ratio, proprietary ratio, and the interest coverage ratio. Debt equity ratio is equal to long term debt by shareholders' equity. Total debt ratio is equal to total debt by total assets. Proprietary ratio is equal to shareholders' equity divided by the total assets. And the interest coverage ratio is equal to earnings before interest and tax divided by the shareholders equity. So, if we main item ownership fund and creditorship funds in the relationship. And the first three ratios indicate the relative contribution of the owners and creditors in financing the assets of the company. So, the moon ratios in company assets are owners and creditors in the contribution. At the same time, coverage ratio measures the ability of the company to meet its interest payment arising from the debt. So, debt to get the interest, then coverage ratio measures the ability of the interest payment to meet its interest payment. So, with the help of these leverage ratios, an analyst can measure the company's ability to meet its long-term debt obligations. Next is profitability ratios. The profitability of a company can be measured by the profitability ratios. There are three groups of profitability ratios. So, a company has profitability measure and profitability ratios use the same. So, the moon aspects in the company has profits. So, these ratios are also divided into three main groups. First one is profitability related to sales. And these include gross profit ratio, operating profit ratio, net profit ratio and the operating ratio. So gross profit ratio is equal to gross profit divided by sales. Operating profit ratio is equal to sales by EBIT. 
net profit ratio is equal to earnings after tax divided by sales and the operating ratio is equal to cost of goods sold plus operating expense divided by shareholders equity. The second one is profitability related to investment and these include return on assets, return on capital employed and the return on equity. And the return on assets is equal to earnings after tax divided by total assets and the return on capital employed is equal to EBIT divided by total capital employed. And the return on equity is equal to earnings after tax divided by shareholders equity. And the third one is profitability related to the equity shares. And this include earnings per share, earnings yield and the price earning ratio. So, the company is aspects are very important. Aana. But a financial analyst in a sambandiche, a fundamental analyst in a sambandiche, equity shares in name, investment in name, profitability ana, kurchadigam important. So the earnings per share is equal to net profit available to the equity shareholders divided by the total capital employed. And earnings yield is equal to earnings per share divided by the market price per share. And the price earnings ratio is just the reciprocal of the earnings yield that is the market price per share divided by the earnings per share. So these are the various types of profitability ratios related to the three different aspects. And the overall profitability is measured by the return on investment which is the product of net profit ratio and investment turnover. So overall profitability measure is ROI that is the return on investment that is equal to the net profit ratio into investment turnover. So the last group of ratios is activity or efficiency ratios which is also known as turnover ratios. These ratios measures the efficiency in asset management. They express the relationship between sales and the different types of assets showing the speed with which these assets generate sales. So, if it is sales, sales generate chaina assets in the middle relationship on a carnage another. Etra vegatilana, oro assets and sales generate chaina and nana carnage another. So, other one done is in a turnover ratios and them para another. And the important activity ratios include. Current asset turnover, fixed assets turnover, total assets turnover, and the inventory turnover. So current assets turnover no rainbow, current asset till ninnum, etra samayam konda etra sales ana generate china, thana sales divided by current assets. Fixed assets turnover is equal to sales divided by fixed assets, and the total assets is equal to sales divided by current assets plus fixed assets. And the inventory turnover ratio is equal to sales divided by average inventory that is equal to opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2. Opening stock in day, closing stock in day, average in day, average inventory in the day. So with all these turnover ratios we can measure the efficiency in asset management of a company. So ratio analysis is a method of interpreting the financial statements of a company. A single ratio by itself is not of much use. A comprehensive evaluation of the financial performance of a company emerges only from a study of all the important ratios. So financial statements in the data we have to relationship with the relationship. That's why we have a single ratio we have to full efficiency we have to measure the full efficiency. So this group of ratios in the help of the company we have to evaluate the total financial performance and the ratio calculated from the financial statements reveal the performance during the past years. From an analysis of the past performance, the analyst has to forecast the future prospects of the company. The investment decision would depend on such forecast. So ratio subvention namakur company at a financial performance analyze chayam, other which it analyst in a future performance forecast chain at a And on the basis of that, an investor makes his investment decision. So today we discussed about ratio analysis and the four different groups of ratios. So with this session we are concluding our first module that is fundamental analysis. So in all these sessions we discussed about intrinsic value and the three major analysis used in fundamental analysis that is economy analysis, industry analysis and the company analysis. Hope all are clear with the topic fundamental analysis. Thank you.